All right, hello class, and welcome to week 10. I cannot believe how quickly this this term has flown by, but here we are. It's week 10. Uh, we have one more week to go. Uh, this week, we'll be ending our unit, uh, looking at the uh, potential for future global conflicts. This week, we'll be looking specifically at the role of technology. As you will see from our coursework, I have not assigned any individualized readings or texts, but this, this week we'll be reading uh, primarily from Loris, Lawrence Friedman's The Future of War. This is a book that was assigned, and we'll be looking specifically at chapters 20, 21, 22, 24, and 25, all of which uh, Mr. Friedman is looking at the future causes of global conflict. And many of these chapters are talking specifically about the role of technology. This week we'll also be uh, um, privileged to have another special guest lecturer join us. Uh, Mr. Thomas Quinn will be joining us from the United States State Department, uh, where he works as an international diplomat. His specialty is on Southeast Asian studies. Specifically, he studies the Philippines. And so this, uh, this lecture will be a great time for you to come in and ask questions about uh, careers in this field. Uh, if anyone is interested in pursuing studies uh, when they finish their undergraduate work here, uh, this would be an appropriate time to uh, pose some of those questions and ask about the likelihood uh, or what the future job market looks like in these types of fields. So I encourage you to join with us as we welcome in Mr. Quinn, uh, listen to what he has to share and be able to, uh, again, ask our questions. This week we have two assignments due. Uh, first, there will be a weekly response that is due this Sunday. In addition, your conflict report part two will be due as of Sunday uh, to be dropped off in this Dropbox. Um, as always, class, if you have any questions, please email me at brantellsworth at centralpen.edu. I also want to take a moment and, and, and put a plug in for the student evaluations, uh, which you will have the uh, option, the opportunity to fill out this week. As a school, we receive very little feedback from our students. Uh, I think statistically, those numbers have floated anywhere between 20 and 40 percent. And frankly, uh, that, that is sad. Um, you now, the faculty need to know uh, how they are doing. They need to know. What uh, the, you know, what, which assignments are they giving that are helpful? Which readings are especially beneficial and vice versa? Which readings are, are, are hard uh, or do you feel have very little impact uh, on the course material? You know, if I were to teach this course again, what would you do differently to make this a better class, uh, a more analytical class, a more critical class? Um, now, should we have more guest lectures? Should we have more assignments? Uh, should we have more video uh, presentations uh, from, the, from me, from your faculty members, or from students? So please, class, if you have the time, uh, I would certainly appreciate any feedback that you can give me on things that I'm doing well in this class and things that I can do to improve. Uh, your feedback is always most appreciated. As you know, it is, it is an anonymous, and so if you have things that you're hesitant to share because you're afraid of a backlash or uh, afraid that it will sour a relationship, do not fear. Um, these are completely uh, anonymous. We have no idea who submits them. But again, we do value your thoughts about the class to help us make this as great of a product as possible. All right, so do your best work this week. I look forward to seeing your conflict reports, and I look forward to seeing you as we meet with uh, Mr. Quinn uh, later this week. As always, let me know if you have any questions. I wish you the best. See you next week.